The Hamilton County School Board saw some major changes with this election. Six seats were up for this election and only one incumbent was running. That means the board would get at least five new members when all was said and done. District 11 incumbent Jill Black did hang on to her seat and she says that she's focused on teacher pay and facilities projects. We took it to the communities who were going to be affected. We listened to the communities, we talked to the communities that were going to be affected, and we changed a lot of it. But then we sent it back to the county commission with a prioritized list of the greatest needs in Hamilton County for facilities, and hopefully they'll find a way to fund it this fall. Now the other districts, 1, 2, 4, 7, and 10, all got brand new board members. The new Channel Lines Jacqueline Davis was following those school board elections last night and has the rundown on the results. Thursday's elections mean Hamilton County School Board is going to see new faces. And as the school starts next week, we see those five districts getting new representatives. The five new members are Jody Schaefer, District 7, Steve Slater, District 1, Felice Hayden, District 10, Ben Darty, District 2, Jackie Anderson Thomas, District 4. One big seat to fill is District 1. Rhonda Thurman was in the District 1 seat for 20 years. Steve Slater will take her spot on the board. Well, first of all, it was a big relief because it's a lot of hard work. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm totally blessed uh, to serve District 1. He says his goal is focusing on the finances for the schools. I ran a successful business for 34 years, and I want to look at the budget and look at our return of investment on that budget. If, we've getting, if we're getting a good return of investment, I'm great. If, if our investment is not panning out the way it should, we might need to make some cuts. Another new face to the school board is Jody Schaefer for District 7. Schaefer says parent feedback is a top priority. You know, a parent's involvement in a child's education is a fundamental right, and it also just excels the student when the parents are involved. So the parents' voices need to be heard. District 2 Ben Darty says in a statement, quote, I want parents to be assured that their children are safe every single day they walk into their schools, as I will continue to work due diligently with our Hamilton County Sheriff, Austin Garrett, and Hamilton County Department of Education. And I will continue to prioritize much-needed facility maintenance repairs across our District 2 schools. Slater agrees. He says there are some schools in his district that need to be fixed. Daisy Elementary needs a gym. Uh, Cell Creek is busting at the seam, so, and Cell Creek is growing, so we have got to take a look at expanding that school pretty soon. Reporting in Hamilton County, I'm Jacqueline Davis, News Channel 9. Thanks for making News Channel 9 your trusted source for local news. For updates and the latest on breaking news, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications.